What is going on everyone? Trust the buzz here. If you're new to the channel, I make Charlotte Hornets content. So if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Sorry, it's been a minute that I haven't uploaded a video. Work has been kicking my butt. There really hasn't been much happening, but you know that I never let the dead of the off season prevent me from uploading videos, but we actually have news today. So if you can't tell by the thumbnail title of this video, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how the Hornets signed Frank Nielakina, um to a one-year deal. It's basically essentially be our backup point guard, but not really because he's more of just a perimeter defender. That's all he is. And personally, I don't really have a problem with it. I don't. I hope that they're not signing him thinking that he is going to be as good as Dennis Smith Jr. But I do think he will provide some perimeter defense that we don't have. And I know a lot of people, including me, are worried about his offense. So like, if I read you his splits, he shot 36, 25, and 67 from the field last year. Not good at all. Doesn't really play make for anybody else. Can't really great for himself. And as you can see, he can't really shoot threes that well either. So he can't be a catch and shoot type of guy. So offense is basically limited to fast breaks. Good thing about that is this team is a fast break team. So I think he will get, you know, a little more confidence. He'll, he'll be able to finish in the break, hopefully. And I think that would just make his number rise a little bit. But I don't think that in the half court, he will be able to provide much offensively. Defensively. He is good. I think that he is someone that can really provide some value to this team. For a team that's heavily focused on offense as far as the personnel on the team, most of our players are offensive-minded players. I don't think there's a problem with bringing a guy like him to say, hey, we just need you to play defense. And similar to what they kind of had him doing in Dallas. It was, uh, and I just hit my mic, but similar to what they had him doing in Dallas, it was more we don't need you to do anything else. Can you just play defense for us? And I think he did a pretty good job uh, as far as compared to what we have. Yes, there are probably a billion other, <laughs> not a billion, but there are a few other guards I would have rather had than Frank Nielakina. But as far as taking the pressure off him and just having him play defense, I think that's going to be big for him and big for the Hornets because I don't think there's, there's really no reason to look at him as, hey, we need you out here, you know, leading the offense and hitting threes. Uh, I don't think we don't necessarily need that, even though we I do feel like we need a backup point guard. However, if the Hornets are taking the approach of, hey, we have a lot of guys who can handle the ball on this team, a lot of guys who aren't that bad at playmaking on this team. We don't need another hand in the pot necessarily. We need someone at the position, but we actually kind of, you know, we don't have to rely on LaMelo and some and whoever the other person is to playmate. We have Miles Bridges. We have Gordon Hayward. We've seen that Brandon Miller can playmate. We have a lot of guys. Terry Rozier, to an extent, when he's not a lead playmaker, he's actually not that bad as a playmaker. Cody Martin is actually pretty decent when it comes to playmaking. So you have a lot of guys who with the ball in their hand, they can create for others. And then you have guys who move off ball like Miles, like Terry Rozier. So I think it's going to help them a lot as far as just being able to use it by committee. And I don't think there's a problem with that. However, we don't have many perimeter defenders. We have we don't really quite know what we're getting with Brandon Miller. And then we have um, Cody Martin. And then Miles Bridges to an extent. And then now we have Frank Nielakina. I think that's I think that's going to be helpful. Like I said, you will just have him to focus on defense. He has long arms. I think he's going to be able to just disrupt the pick and roll. I think he's really pretty good at guarding people on ISO, which is even with Cody Martin. That's not something he's like the best at. He's not bad at it. But Frank Nielakina, I think, is actually pretty good at guarding. It's just his offense is why he's not having a career you would have thought he had. I think he was drafted like seventh or ninth overall. Let me look real quick. Eighth. So, yeah, I picked the two numbers around it. But, yeah, it, there was a reason he was picked eighth overall, and that wingspan was part of it. His offensive game never came around. But if he can take that wingspan, focus it on the defensive end, on the perimeter for us, I think that will be very, very helpful for him and, like I said, for us. So let me know what you think about Frank Nielakina. I know that – it's just not the prettiest signing. It's not the guy we envisioned because he he's not a playmaker. I mean, at, at the most assists he had was he averaged three point two assists his rookie year with the New York Knicks. So maybe you get a sign from there. And then I would also say, even though he played twenty one minutes and that's too many, I would say that that's not bad considering what we need. If like I said, if we're doing this whole playmaker thing by committee, uh, when you you know excluding Lamelo Ball. I don't think three assists is bad. I don't. I don't think that's bad considering we have everybody else that can play make as well. Now he's not going to be able to run the offense, but he's going to be able to kick it to the open guy. And with all the moving parts that we'll have, hopefully with this team healthy, there there will be open shots for guys like Brandon Miller, PJ Washington, if he comes back or whatever's going on with that. So there's going to be a lot going on, and I think that he will. If there's a fit for him, 
outside of really like paying attention to all the other teams in the league, I think what we have here in Charlotte is a pretty good fit, and I think it benefits both parties. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.